discussion. Today we're going to discuss a short story written by Old Henry. The story is called The Service of Love. Um, so please everyone to be active so we can uh, do this discussion uh, very effectively so we don't lose much time, okay? When one loves one's art, no service seems too hard. Okay? So let's start discussing. What do you, what opinions do you have on this sentence? Please. Uh, I think that sentence was to say that uh, if you love someone, uh, it's not uh, hard for you to do everything for So we understand that love drives uh, your strength, right? It's a good okay. point. Yeah. Good point. Uh, other example? Uh, and I think that the yeah. word uh, love can be interpreted in different ways. For example, at the beginning of the story, we thought that it referred to art as just art. Uh, for example, paint, painting and music in this, case, in this case. But then later, at the end of the story, we uh, started to understand that in reality, it was referring to uh, the people uh, and they were the still love. It just says that life is difficult, but if you have a person near you that you love and art or some other uh, activity or I don't know, profession that you love, you can live happy. You can overcome everything, maybe? Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, she used to study piano. And there was a boy named uh, Joe. Was his name Joe? Joe. Uh, so Joe studied painting as art, and uh, Dalia studied pi uh, piano as uh, art. They were from different places. They went to New York, New York, so that they they can continue their uh, studying and as a major. Uh, it reached to a place that uh, they left with no money and they were supposed to work in order to study. So uh, Dalia found the work, as she said in the beginning, that uh, she worked next to the general. General, she taught the general's uh, girl how to play the piano, and uh, Joe played. Uh, Joe painted paintings and sold. But then uh, the, we found out that uh, Dalia was uh, working in the laundry, ironing the clothes, and uh, Joe was working in the mechanic places. So it ended up that they were working in the same place. And what happened is uh, both of them uh, found jobs, but lied to their uh, loved ones, so, so that. There's a sentence in the end, uh, I'm going to read it to you. They changed the key sentence. They said, uh, so Joe said, when, uh, when, when, uh, when one loves one's art, no service seems. But here, uh, Del Delia interrupted him and said, no. She said, just when one loves. Why? Uh, because it's not uh, good to hide something from that one that uh, he loves you and he gave everything to you. But I, I would uh, talk about my opinion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, uh, the main uh, saying of service of love is that uh, it shows how two people sacrifice, uh, sacrifice their ambitions uh, for the sake of each other, and um, they uh, put their uh, careers um, aside from each other and lie to each other because uh, they didn't want to um, tell uh, that they didn't find the jobs uh, that um, their uh, profession was related to. In this story, Joe, uh, Joe and Delia love each other very much, but they do things that they don't want to do. So my question is, would you do something that you don't want to do for your boyfriend or girlfriend that you love? Will you, Ellen? Maybe yes, I don't know. I think yes. 
decide what we want to do. But I think if you love someone, you can, uh, you should do everything. Uh, Get from the story. Uh, we understood that whatever it is, when someone truly really loves each other or with, uh, the other, uh, that love is enough to make mazes. And uh, even lie to each other just to make life easier for uh, their loved one. So, when someone loves, that's enough. Thank you.